Hey guys, welcome back to Drawing with Juni. Today we're gonna be drawing Dio. No oh, thank you, no oh, thank you. That's a line he says in Rise of Skywalker. So uh, uh, today we're gonna be drawing Dio the droid from Star Wars and he's from the last movie, The Rise of Skywalker. So it's gonna be really cool and Dio's like a really tiny droid who becomes friends with BB-8 and he has a cone shape uh she's from the rise of skywalker the last movie and we're going to be drawing him today uh and he's also really small and funny looking so today we're going to be drawing him today and i'll see you in a second no thank you please thank you okay guys now we're going to start drawing dio so uh, I'm going to be using a Sharpie marker, but you could use whatever you want to draw him. And also I'm going to be using a ruler today because a little of his cone part is uh, really straight. And uh, I don't want to mess that up with the marker because it's drawing and it can go a little wonky. So yeah, I'm going to be using a, a small, uh, uh, actually a big ruler uh, made out of Lego. Uh, it actually has all those teeny numbers on it. So yeah, you, uh, 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 you can purchase this, but for now, let's start. Okay, so uh, let's open our sharp marker and let's start. And I'm gonna uh, guide you how to, you're gonna, we're gonna use it. Okay, so we're gonna start like this over here. And we're going to make a line coming down like that. As you can see, so now here, and we're gonna do a curve line now so you can keep your ruler on the side uh we're gonna do a curved line like this okay and then we're gonna also curve it uh, from the other side because it's kind of like a circle oval shape and we can trace it around like this okay and we're gonna make some lines inside them inside it like this it's kind of like some kind of vent coming through him and uh, we can make some more lines inside that even more so yeah now we're gonna take back a ruler and we're gonna make the other side of the cone head so we'll just angle it in a good shape like that and uh -oh, a little there yeah and we're going to make a line coming up like that okay so now here we're going to make a big curve coming up over here and we're going to connect it into this like that just straight there now here we're also going to make another curve because there's some kind of separator there i'm not too sure so we can make a curve down like that okay so now here we're going to make a big rectangle like this here <clears throat> like that and you can color it in there's basically some kind of uh, vent again or something or into a C or something like that i'm not sure so here we could also make one but this one will be really thin because it's kind of coming out and you can't really see the rest so yeah like that and here we could also make one Okay, but this one can be thin. Yeah, and color it in. You can just do this properly. Yeah, so that's the uh, main shape of our Dio head. Now uh, we could uh, start with the other stuff. Uh, we make a line coming out from here, like that, a really small one. Then uh, the other antenna is a little more big, so we can make a teeny square coming out. And the before a connector there to the head, we will make a big line coming out this time. Okay, and from here we could also make another line, and th this one will be a little bigger than that one, but a little smaller than that one, like this, okay, in the middle. So yeah. We finished the main head of our Dio. Now we're going to start with the body coming down. So we'll make a small line this way down. We'll come this way. we we'll go up. And we'll come straight up back. Okay. Now in here, 
you can make a, a, a few lines which will later be black but we'll uh, kind of highlight them with the gray so you can see them a bit now we're going to uh, outline this bottom part of it there like that so it's like another ring there and but that'll be white and now here we're going to make a kind of line coming out from here then we're going to make a line down from here and we're going to curve it like this up and connect it kind of like a base for it there okay so now here we're going to make a line like this here and we're going to make another line here and this part in the middle is black so we could uh, just quickly color it in Okay, yeah, that's it for that uh, kind of small base. So here we could also make a small line down and come this way and go up to make it look pretty. And here we could also do the same thing. And since this part is black and it's coming down 3D, we could make two lines coming down like that to make it look. Again, like that part is black, we could color it in to make it look 3D. Okay, so we finished that base there holding up the head, I think, something like that. So we're going to make uh, from here, I think, a line coming down. Okay, and we're going to go up a bit and we're going to go up again like that. And on the other side, we're also going to make a rectangle, but this one will be a little more thin. So, uh, so it'll be like that because it's a little more behind so you can't really see it as much as you can see this one okay so now we're going to start with one of the main parts of him it's the wheel and he has only one wheel like a unicycle so you like ride around and sh but but people riding it is much harder because unicycles are much bigger than a deal and they're and they're quite hard to do because not like a uh they're not like a a, a scooter or something they have two wheels they only have one wheel that's why it's called a unicycle because cycles have only two wheels but uh, unicycles have one wheel. Well, let's get back to drawing so uh, we're gonna make a curved a line actually just a line but it'll be curvy a little so don't make it like straight okay so we're gonna make a curve line connecting both those across then we're gonna go down like this and do this slowly because it's pretty much a circle gotta do this slowly because circles can come out wrong at sometimes especially when they're big so now here from this side we're going to make another one coming this way we're gonna do slowly and we're not gonna hurry up we're gonna really do it slowly like that and we're coming this way almost yes we did it we were really thinking i'm gonna i'm gonna like uh, feel that for sure but thank god i didn't i'm ready to start the whole drawing again so yeah now we're going to make a kind of curved line from here coming this way and we're gonna curve it this way and come here so it's kind of 3d again the wheel we're drawing this part is the front it's kind of like a moon in the air you know a crescent moon but uh, if you remove the crescent moon it's a full moon so, but this part here is the front of the wheel with a bluish line and in this uh, big moon part there'll be a little uh, more parts so yeah now here we're going to start with those lines as i said we're just uh, straight lines across like that uh and they're and they're quite close to, e to each other there are quite a few lines there if you see the picture of him you'll see quite a few lines so yeah we're just gonna do it all around like this and we're gonna end there to do more so now here we're gonna uh, that was the front part now we're gonna do the uh, side part which you can see uh if you're looking at him from the side but you were kind of looking at him from the front and the side so uh kind of like the side front i'm not sure like if i if the straight guy this way you can see the side the straight guy no if you can see this guy is from the front but my hand here is on the side so it's kind of in the between where you can see the front and you can see the details on the side kind of like that so yeah here we're going to make a circle 
there's just a big circle in the middle for uh, for a design there or something the robotics then here uh, we're going to make a line across and then the, the, again the kind of lines like a vent like happen in here so basically we're going to make big lines but they're not going to connect to the uh, uh, edges and the sides so we're just going to make them like this okay and we're going to make a few of them and that's it and then we'll make another line across and we'll make a kind of two lines coming across like this and a line in the middle and the top one uh the top side part the top uh, uh top part here not this but this part of the top we're going to color in actually uh yeah so we're pretty much done drawing our deal just from this side maybe we could add in a little more 3d part so we could uh maybe from here draw a little kind of edge coming out like this tapered out and we're gonna get it in there to make it look like the back you can see a little bit but not much and we can make a few lines in that which you won't be able to really see at the end and it's colored up but yeah so yeah we're done drawing d oh wait sorry we're not done we just have to draw a circle here i forgot about that design a circle there and a line across that is for a 3d design there um yeah and we could also draw maybe a few squares actually we didn't draw this a uh, tapered part there out there but uh because it'll be too much then but uh we drew enough and we can make a few squares which would have been there in that tapered part so yeah we're done drawing dio from star wars the rise of skywalker it turned out super well he turned out super well so now uh we're gonna be coloring it oh oh dang it i forgot my color pencils dang it i need to get them they're right here actually beside me but i didn't get them in front here so yeah it's a real danger yeah you can see that once more huh that it's real dang it because i all i never forget them actually so yeah prisma colors i'm gonna be using prisma colors you could use whatever you want to color them so uh, yeah i'm gonna be fast forwarding this part in the end you can pause the video if you want to match the same coloring if you want to do the proper coloring of deal oh uh, but you gonna come <sighs> oh, i'm tired of talking okay when i'm coloring i can take a breath i can take some breaths Woo! okay so uh, basically you can do your own carving too if you want making me your own deal but so i'm gonna be doing the specific colors uh so yeah i'm gonna be uh starting the fast forwarding of the coloring in uh, three two and the last time to the i can't say it one super well now here you could pause it if you want to match the same coloring and there was like hardly any coloring because it's like basically green in these places and a bit of black at the color and i also remembered that dio has a does have a few wires on him so what i did i just added a tiny square there made it a uh, kind of curved s line you could add that to your do too because we forgot to add the wires i just remembered that time that we needed to add some wires uh so uh here we uh just add because uh, when i looked at the uh, sample uh in case i needed it i remembered uh, that 
But I, I, I looked at a sample of uh, what colors I needed, but I, but I saw that hey, uh, the, in the sample there were no wires. I was like, what? Doesn't Dio have some wires? So I was like, oh, okay, let's add some wires. I looked at a different picture and there was, uh, and showed me there were some wires. So that's why I added a few wires. And uh, yeah, so it turned out super. Well. And I also had a little dirty thingies, like some kind of yellowish white and just brown in places because I wanted to look a bit rusty. Because in the movie, he actually does look like that. He looks really rusty, you know, like he's been sitting uh, um, uh, on, on, on the ship that he was crashed on since years. He doesn't look that good. So, yeah, that's why. Uh, I drew him, I drew, drew those tiny dirty marks. If you want to make it clean, you could. It's up to you, but uh, uh, you can pause it here if you've not uh, colored yet. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Subscribe to my channel, give a thumbs up to this video if you liked it, and check out my other videos. Uh, so, my latest video uh, was, I think, yeah, the horse. It was awesome. You better check that one out. Yeah, it, it was actually really good. Uh, I really like the way I did the realistic horse, and I hope yours turned out well too. And I hope you like drawing the deal. I hope you do draw, do it too. He's a, he's a droid from Star Wars. So yeah, bye guys. Thanks for watching. So uh, and uh, and uh, I also wanted to mention something that uh, we're going to be taking a break. Uh, I'm going to be taking a break from drawing because my spring break is starting, and I'm probably going to be going somewhere. But yeah. So I probably, this will be my last video and for a week or a little less, uh, I won't be uploading a video. So yeah, guys, bye-bye and uh, uh, I hope uh, I hope you uh, your deals turned out very good. Bye-bye.